I think we're live. Hello, hello. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to a Friday Night Curry Club. I know I haven't been here for a while, but it's so lovely to be doing this again. Um, we had a, a nice long break, taking it easy, had a holiday, all of that fun stuff. Um, but it's lovely to be here and it's really lovely to have um, you guys joining again. Oh, I'm getting all the messages start to pop through. So I want to say a lovely hello to as many people as I possibly can. I'm looking at, I'm supposed to be looking at the camera, but I'm looking at the screen. So who have we got? Hi, hi Trixie, hi Denise, hi Mark. Um, lots of messages from you over the day, which has been lovely. Oh my goodness, more and more people. And Rock, hello, how are you doing? Lovely to see you. If I miss your name, I am very, very sorry. I am trying to do this all myself today, so. It's all a bit crazy. Um, oh, thank you. I'm glad to be back too as well. Thank you. Um, hi, Gordon. How are you doing? You've got a table booked over there just by the window. Um, lovely to have you join. How are you doing? What, what? So it's, it's going down the pub for the first time in ages and seeing all your chums. Oh, bless you. How lovely. Um, welcome, everybody. So this is a one off Friday night curry club. I have been super busy and just fitting everything in has been a bit of a nightmare. Um, so this one today, oh hello from Las Vegas. I so want to be there. It's so amazing to have so many of you join from, hi Mark, how you doing? Sorry, I'm going to be dipping in and out. We've got Love Empress from California. Hello, how are you doing? Welcome. Um, so we're doing this as a one off and we're doing it with water aid um hopefully a lot of you have been reading um all the information that i've been putting out um so this is a real special um one today because we are doing it to raise some money so please 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 donate as and when you can however little you can please do donate um this is really to um take part in the first for knowledge campaign that water aid have been doing so they launched it in november it runs till February, and it's all about um, raising awareness for girls in Nepal um, and giving them the opportunity to get into education and going on to secondary school um, without the worry of having to go and find clean water. Um, we have got some lovely little videos from um, Wartrade, and they'll share those with you. And I'm lucky enough to have the team from Wartrade on, so if you've got any questions, um, that you want to ask them about the fundraising, about this particular um, event that we're doing, then please do ask away. And um, the guys, I think it's Nick that's there, he will be um, able to answer your questions. Um, so, yes, who have we got? Hi, James, how are you doing? You're a newbie. Um, You've not got any ingredients, you're just here to watch and learn. That is absolutely fine. We like people who want to learn new stuff. So today um, we are cooking a very special dish. It's a Nepalese um, dish. So it's a Gurkha chicken curry. Um, and a couple of days ago I put out, well it was last week actually, I put out three options for dishes that we could cook. And surprise, surprise, this is the dish that won. I wasn't surprised at all because I knew this is, would be the one that most of you would want to cook. Um, so the food in Nepal is um, takes lots of influences from the countries around it. Um, and we're going to be sort of investigating and playing around with some of those flavours. Um, before we do that, it might be um, 
quite a good idea for me to um, first of all say thank you to all the donations that have already come in. We've had a few donations throughout the last couple of weeks um, and it's really lovely to see that target sort of totting up as we go through. Um, I've said if we reach um, £500 I am going to do, I'm going to give away some curry kits so please keep those donations coming in and then we, and, um, we'll do a, a little bit of a pulling hats out of a names out of a hat to to um to give out some curry kits and if we reach um the target which is a thousand i will be giving away a um spice tin as well um the guys at war trade thought it would be really funny if um for anybody who donates over 30 pounds or the equivalent of um they thought it'd be really funny if I then closed my eyes and picked a chili out of here and ate it. So if anybody wants to see me eat some chilies live on air, now is your opportunity. So if you donate over £30 for every time you do it, I think, well, we'll see. But I've got a whole array of different types of chilies. Um, so get those um donations in and um yeah if you want to see me cry now's your opportunity um before we start what there is a lovely little video that we'd like to share with you just to give you a bit more information about what it is that we're raising money for today um before we get into the cooking and then i'll talk you through all of the ingredients that we've got here and what we're going to do so um do we want to get that video on I'll help you get that little video so that's basically what we're working to um, try and raise funds for and as it said in the video um, all donations from UK donations will be doubled by the government in the UK as well so please 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 be generous in fact why don't you donate what you would have you what you would have spent on a Friday curry um, rather than spending it on a takeaway so we are going to be cooking this Gherkin chicken curry and it's, um, so the food from that region is, and so it takes its influences from India, from Tibet, um, China and that kind of thing. So there's lots of different sort of influences that come into that food. Um, it's much more mild, I would say, in terms of the, the, the flavourings and that kind of thing. So it's, and it's slightly, and I, a little bit more simple in the way that it's put together but it's but that doesn't mean that it doesn't taste great because it absolutely does taste great um there's lots of comments coming through so oh gordon glad you're enjoying your gmt sat there um who else have we got we've got oh lovely people from ottawa have i seen oh lots and lots and lots of Lots of hellos. Missed you loads too, David. Lovely to have you join. Thank you for coming along. Okay, so the chicken, the Gurkha chicken curry. Um, I'll talk you through what I've got. For those of you who are cooking with me, um, please do let me know if I lose you at any point. Just give me a little message and I can slow down. If you're not cooking and you're just watching and, and taking it all in, then, um, then please do add any comments or questions that you might have and we'll I'll try and um, answer them as I go, if I can read them or I'll get um, someone hopefully shouting them out to me. Um, if you are cooking along today, um, there are obviously little tweaks and things that everybody wants to do their own little, little sort of version of. 
Um, but I'm going to talk you through all the spices and then we'll get cooking. So, um, what have I got? We're going to do um, this chicken dish. So I'm cooking my meat on the bone. So I've got some um, drumsticks and thighs. Um, because it's a dish that requires the chicken to be marinated, I have pre-marinated um, just to give it a little bit more time to absorb some of those lovely, lovely flavours. So what have I got? I've got some fennel seeds here, which are lovely green fennel seeds, got that lovely aniseedy flavour. I've also got some um, cardamom, some green cardamom here. Um, then I've got a couple of onions. I've got my ginger and my garlic. I've got my trusty pestle and mortar, which I'll be using to bash up those spices. And then I've got some whole spices that are going that we're going to be using as well. So I've got these lovely, um, these are called dij, but they are Indian bay leaves. I've got some cassia bark. If you can't find cassia bark, you can sub it for some cinnamon. Um, I've got cumin seeds and some cloves. Um, and then I've got, as I said, my ginger and garlic. Um, and I've got some tomatoes here as well. Um, and some yogurt that we're using to do that marinade. So the first thing we want to do is just get a, a little pan on because we're going to toast some spices. Um, so the fennel and cardamom, we're going to toast that off so that we get lovely sort of aromas coming through. As soon as you can smell those lovely aromas coming through, um, then you can stop, let the, let the spices cool down, and then we're going to give those a bash. So the whole point of tempering your spices or heating them up, what's the purpose of doing that? And I know there's lots of you on here that know how to, that, that, that know what I'm going to, or the answers that I'm looking for. So please shout out, what is the purpose of toasting your spices? So I've got in here the fennel and I'm going to put in four cloves of um, cardamom as well. So just giving it a little, a little bit of heat. Now keep them moving because you don't want your spices to burn. They can burn very, very quickly. The whole point of toasting them like this is just to get them to release their natural oils, to get those lovely aromas coming. As soon as you can smell them, you know that um, the heat has done what you wanted it to do. What I've done is I, I'm toasting the whole of the cardamom here, and when I put it into my pestle and mortar and bash it, um, the husk will come away, so then I'm, I'm going to take the husk out and throw it away. The other thing that you can do is you can open up the cardamom and take the seeds out and put the seeds in and toast those. Um, so whatever suits your fancy, all we want to do is toast the inside seeds and, um, and get those lovely aromas coming through. That's right, Mark, it's all about aromatics. It's getting those aromatics through, getting those lovely oils to come to the surface. Releases the flavour. That's right, James, absolutely. See, you guys all know what we're doing. So who's cooking? Is it a, I haven't had, usually I get an influx of, yeah, we're cooking, yeah, we're not cooking. So who's cooking today? Give me a shout if you're cooking, um, if you're cooking along with me. So into here, I just want these to cool before I bash them. I'm going to pop in toasted spices. And then with my pestle and mortar, I'm going to start to bash them up. Now you know you're cooking when you're using a pestle and mortar. It's all part of the fun. Have we got Debbie on? I don't know if Debbie said hello to me. I'm hoping she's on. Right, so as you bash them up a little bit, you can see that the husks come away. Oops. So we're going to throw that away. Just get rid of those because they can be quite fibrous. So just make sure that all the seeds have come out. And you can throw the husk out. There we go. It should smell really, really fragrant. So, Mandy, you're cooking. Mark, you're cooking. Lovely. Gordon, it's going to be tomorrow's dinner. That's because you've had too much gin and tonic, I assume. Right. Let's give this a bash. So, fennel is that aniseedy aromatic it's really really lovely so a lot of the spices that we're using today um, are very similar to spices that are used up in the north of India which makes sense really for this kind of dish from this region right so 
So, can you see? Got that lovely aromatic powder. Mm. Yum. It smells delicious. Right, so all I've done is toasted those spices, crushed them up. Into here, I'm going to add some ginger and garlic as well. So I'm going to put in three cloves of garlic, because I like garlic, and then I'm going to roughly chop some ginger. And as you know, if you've got a fresh piece of ginger, you can just put it in. If you've got a slightly older piece, you might want to peel it a little bit. So we're going to bash all this together to create a paste. You might have to do it a little bit gently. What you don't want to do is go in heavy handed and all your spices go everywhere. It does happen. Okay, so we give all of that a bash. And then start grinding it. If you wanted to, you could grate the ginger and garlic in. Anything to just give it lots of surface area, get it all bashed up and get it really nice and aromatic. Oh, it smells really good. There we go. So I'll show you what it looks like. It looks like that. It looks like that. And then what I've got here is some yogurt. And I'm going to put in that bashed up ginger, garlic, fennel, and cardamom into the yogurt. It should smell really lovely. So if you're cooking, Tell us what you think about those aromas that are coming through because it's really very, very potent, but really, really quite delicious. Right, so there you go. You mix all of that up. And look at that. Mm. Okay, so if you're cooking, are you still with me? Girl Roller, you're just watching, you're not cooking. That's okay. Maybe you'll do it another time. So that's what we've got. And as I mentioned, I have done this already earlier, just because I wanted to give it a little bit of time to marinate. So you just pop that into your chicken. Now what I've, because I'm using um, thigh and drumstick, what I've done is I've just slashed through the meat just to make sure that um, the flavours penetrate nice and evenly, but also because I want this to cook as fairly quickly because we're doing this live, um, it just helps that chicken cook a bit better. Okay, so if you wanted to use meat off the bone, you absolutely can use meat off the bone instead. You can just marinate some thigh fillets. It should smell really, really delish. Mm. Okay. So, Denise, you're still pounding your spices up. Lovely. You're never going to get a fine powder, um, but just grind them as, as much as you can. And remember, get rid of the husks of the, um, the cardamom. Okay. Is everyone still with me? Can I offer a glass of pinotage to anyone? That would be absolutely wonderful. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. No one's here to give me a drink today, so that's down to you, Mark. Okay, right. Pop this to one side. I'm just going to get my onions prepped because I want to give my chicken a little bit of time just to um, absorb some of those flavours. So I'm going to use two onions and I'm going to slice them. Um, and the reason I want to do that is because they get a bit more colour a bit more quickly when they're sliced. 
So I'm using two onions, and I've got, I would say, roughly about six to 700 grams of meat, eight pieces of meat. Oh. Pardon? You can use lamb instead of chicken. Yep, there's no reason why you can't use lamb instead of chicken. The lamb will take a little bit longer to cook, but exactly the same process. What I would do if I was cooking lamb, oh, onions, um, is that I would increase the number of onions I'm using. So I'd probably use three or four onions if I was doing this with lamb. Oh, I'm crying. I'm crying. Did anyone see my um, tearless onions that I showed that I shared on the app? It's quite interesting, wasn't it? Okay, right. So my onions are ready. We've already put our ginger and garlic into the marinade, um, and this style of cooking is slightly different to the normal um, style of cooking that you guys are used to me doing. Somebody asked earlier, where's my matching saucepan, didn't you? This is as close as I could get. See, haven't forgotten, I haven't forgotten. Right, so I'm gonna heat up my pan. I'm gonna pop a little bit of oil in there. The first thing we're going to do is we're just going to add our chicken and we're going to sear them. Um, just sear the pieces and then take them out and then carry on making our masala. So it's slightly different to the way that I hope that we tend to do a lot of the Indian curries, but we like to mix it up a little bit. So I've got some um, vegetable oil in here. That I'm just gonna pop in there and let that heat up. Okay, has anyone got any questions? Are you read about the onions? Yes. Very, very interesting, I thought. Um, put a wet rag near the chopping board to stop you crying. I've tried all kinds of things. Doesn't matter what I do, I still cry. Um, but I don't mind. It's all part of, part and parcel of the fun of cooking, I think. Um, cheers, everyone. Oh, you've got yourself a glass of wine. I'm still waiting for mine, Mark. Um, no Prosecco tonight. Hmm. I think my husband's just realised he's pouring me a, a glass. As we speak, I haven't got a glass. Oh, I need to get a glass. Thank you. Okay, so just um, as a little bit of a reiteration, please remember why we're doing this tonight. We're doing it to raise money for Water Aid um, for all of those amazing girls in Nepal who could write a whole new story for themselves if they were just given an opportunity. Um, if you want to donate, I can see it flashing up on the screen. They are desperate for me to eat some chilies. Um, I, I am a little bit scared, if I'm honest. Um, I'm not the biggest chilli eater. Um, white or are red onions okay? Red onions are absolutely fine um, for, for this kind of a dish. There's not that much um, of a difference, really. Um, if you've got red onions, by all means use red onions. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so my oil is starting to heat up. Happy Friday, everybody. Cheers. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, so my oil is in the pan. Still not quite hot enough. I'm going to let it heat up. And then I'm just going to pop in one piece of chicken at a time, let them sear, and then I'm going to take them out. Um, so what you need to do is just scrape the marinade off as much as you possibly can, but keep hold of that marinade. Do not get rid of the marinade. Don't throw it away. We're going to be using it later. So just scrape off as much as you can as you are adding the, the chicken. So I'm going to pop the first one in. Listen. Sizzle. That's what we want. So just scrape off that marinade. If you put too much of it in, it can burn. So we just, all we're doing essentially is searing that meat. 
there's a lot of flavour in this marinade, all those lovely spices that we've put in. There we go. Now, when I use um, a yoghurt marinade, I tend to go for a nice thick Greek yoghurt. I just think it sort of carries the flavours better. So that is my preference, that is my ch choice, really. There we go. Put that in. Right, is everyone with me who is cooking? Are we all together? Hi, Colin from Denmark. How are you doing? So for this dish, Debbie, um, at the moment I'm just using oil. So I've used rapeseed oil for this. Um, when we do the dal, um, we can use a little bit of ghee for that. But yeah, good question. A little bit messy, but we don't mind that when we're cooking. A little bit of mess is okay. Oh, I forgot to put that in. There we go. So, are we enjoying the Friday Night Curry Club? I know it's been a while. I know I got I got lots of abuse when we did it. When we um we had to sort of change things up a little bit. Not abuse really, but. It's quite difficult to fit everything in all the time. So, okay, so the chicken has gone in. All I'm doing is just going to just sear that for a minute. Keep hold of the remainder of your marinade because we're going to be using that later. So I'm just going to scoop that into the middle because we'll use that later. Okay. And wash your hands. You know what, I'm going to put this on a hotter hob. There we go. So we're just going to let that sear for a minute. And then once it's started to cook a little bit, I'm going to turn them, turn the piece of chicken over. And then we'll fish them out and just pop them into, into this pan. Hello, who's that? Uh, Zyg, is it? Hi, how are you? Let us know where you're from in the world. Mark, you're still talking about wine. Chardonnay, he like. I'm not keen on Chardonnay. It's a bit, bit too earthy for me. Okay. Right. So, starting to get a little bit of a sear on it now. So I'm just going to turn them over. If you're cooking along, can you let me know whereabouts you are? Are you starting to do your meat now? Or are you still marinating? Did anybody marinate beforehand? So as this is cooking, we're starting to get those lovely aromas coming through. Um, the thigh I got came from an enormous chicken. So it can only do two at a time. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Just do it in your own time. Um, all you want to do is just get that, just seared a little bit, if you can get a bit of colour to it, fine, but you'll get a lot of moisture coming out of the marinade and the chicken, so um, don't worry too much. But as it's cooking, you should start to get some really lovely smells coming through. Okay, and that's it. So I'm going to take these out. Just put them on. There we go. It smells really, really, really lovely, actually. There we go. So, pop this over here. Okay. 
Who's that, sorry? Hi, Gucci's Kitchen, how you doing? Welcome, lovely to have you join. How are you? Um, all the way from the US, which is amazing. Um, you've reached 100 messages. Hi. Hi, Ishan, how are you? Meat is in the pan, Mark, brilliant. So, well, now that I've taken my meat out, I'm gonna just check, I'm gonna put a little touch more oil in, and then I'm going to add my whole spices. So. For my whole spices, I have got my cassia bark here. And as I said, if you haven't got cassia, I'm going to try and break it because it's quite a big bit. Um, just smell that. One thing I always say to people, with cassia bark, just break a little bit off and chew it. And it's like it's like sweets. It's really, really sweet. Pop that in. Um, I've got two bay leaves. Those are going in. And then I've got some cloves in here. So the chicken, you, you might get a little bit of colour on your chicken. Don't worry if it doesn't brown too much. It's absolutely fine. We're just sort of trying to sear it and then we'll pop it in. Um, just, just take it out. Just All you're doing is just searing it. If you can get a bit of colour on there, fine, but don't worry too much. I've got some cloves that are going in. And then I've got two teaspoons of cumin seeds. So those are going in as well. And then we're going to give all of that a nice stir through. And again, now you're going to start to get some different aromatics coming. Mm. Okay, and same principle. As soon as the um, spices release their aromatics, as soon as you can smell them, you're ready to go in with your next ingredient. This time we're going in with our sliced onions. So has everybody got their onions ready? Everyone got their onions ready? Um, we have posted a couple of times on the chat um, the link for where you put your donations. So please feel free to donate as and when you feel like it. So we've just had the lovely Michael Michael Shaw, thank you so much for your donation. That's very, very kind of you. So my spices are lovely and aromatic. So now I'm just breaking up the sliced onion and popping that in. Oh, I'm making a mess. Okay. Oh, not doing very well today. Onions are ready. Brilliant, Tina. Well done. So get them, get them going once your chicken is out. Um, my family and I have been enjoying your recipes, and I love, love, love your food. Well, that is, I'm truly humble. Thank you. That's amazing to hear. Such lovely comments. Okay, so. Onions are in. Now, as I said earlier, I quite like to use sliced onions because it gives you a little bit of um, a little bit of that lovely colour. Don't worry, Denise, if you're still doing the chicken, that's fine. Just take your time, do your chicken, um, and then as soon as you're ready, you can get your onions going. So I want to get a bit of colour to my onions. Um, so who have we got here? Hello, my friend. Hi. How are you? Lovely to have you join us. So this is a very special Friday Night Curry Club. We're doing it in conjunction with the amazing people at Water Aid um, who help so many communities around the world. Um, today we're raising funds for um, girls in Nepal um, through the First for Knowledge campaign. And any British donations will be matched by the UK government. So please get your donations in. Um, hopefully, we will get a little bit of an update as to how much we've raised so far. The aim is to get a thousand pounds. If we can do that, that would be amazing. Um, I am going to be giving away, if we hit 500, I will be giving away some of my curry kits. For those of you who haven't seen my curry kits, I'll share them with you. Oh, we've got some more. Thank you, everyone. We're getting there. Um, if we get to 500, I'll give away some curry kits. If we get to 1,000, I'll give away a spice tin. So 
You've got to be in it. So please, please, please do make your donations. And, you know, all of this money is going to help girls who could lead amazing lives if they were just given the opportunity and didn't have to spend their time going to find clean water. Um, so Wall Trade do all kinds of different things, all kinds of different activities to sort of help. And with this particular campaign, they're building um, new water systems for schools, um, toilets, um, um, giving female hygiene classes, all of that kind of stuff. So some really good work. And we have got the guys from Wall Trade on. So if you've got any questions, please ask away because Nick is there and he's happy to answer any questions you might have about the work that the money from this particular um, um, fundraising event is going to. So please do ask away. Okay, so how are we doing, guys? Have we got onions in the pan yet? I need your feedback. Hello, hi, lots of lots more hellos coming in, which is really lovely to see. Whenever you say hello, please let me know where in the world you are because it's always lovely for me to know um, where people are tuning in from. We've got people from the US, we've got people from South Africa, we've got people from the UK, all over the place. So please, please, please let us know where you are signing in from. Okay, so we are making a Gurkha chicken curry at the moment. And all we've done is we've marinated our chicken in some yogurt, um, some cardamom, some toasted fennel seeds, um, some ginger and garlic, which is all bashed up together, and then we marinated the chicken. Ideally, if you can leave your chicken to marinate for a couple of hours, that is preferential. Um, and if not, then that's okay too, but ideally it just helps penetrate some more flavour into the meat. Once that's done, um, you take the chicken, in, heat it up um, with a little bit of oil and just sear off that meat and then take it out and that's the stage that we're at, so we've just popped it to one side. Then to start to make the masala or the sauce, the base sauce for this, a little bit more oil, I've put two bay leaves in there, um, some cloves, some cumin seeds, so two teaspoons of cumin seeds have gone in, add some cassia bark, and then sliced onion. And I'm just sorting off my onion. And hopefully, those guys who are cooking along with me um, can let me know whereabouts you are in the process. Now, when you're doing this, if you feel that your onions are catching on the bottom of the pan, just a little splash of water will help to release release them and also start to add a little bit of colour to that dish and to those onions just help them brown a little bit. There we go. So how are we doing guys? I'm just gonna have a little break, have a little have a little drink. Well it is Friday after all. Okay, so once the onions have started to get a little colour to them, um, what we're going to do, what we are going to do is, we're then going to add some, um, some other spices to this. And it's quite, so, Oh, <laughs> you're so kind. So Mark, Mark has said he's going to donate £28 by his daughter in London um, from them who are in South Africa at the moment because he doesn't want me to have to eat a chilli. You are, uh, I love you. You're very kind. <laughs> See, it's really nice to know that you guys care. If it was my family, they'd be like, yeah, took it in, took it in. Right. So the other spices that are going to go into here, and th this is the bit that's slightly different from the way that I would normally cook um, an Indian curry. Um, we've got um, a little bit of chilli powder, we've got some turmeric, and we've got some mace. Um, so those are the three powdered spices that are going to be going in here um, in, a, in a moment. Um 
if you, so we haven't actually put any chilies in here so a lot of the food from Nepal tends to be a little bit lighter in that on that heat level um, I know that a lot of you guys like a bit of spice so if you prefer it a little bit more spicy a little bit more of a kick then um, all you need to do is just chop up a chili and add that as well so um, I have a whole array of chilies today because water I thought it would be fun for anyone who donates over £30 that I would close my eyes, pick a chilli and eat that live on air, which I think is just a bit mean. But um, if anybody does do that, then um, <laughs> then do what Mark did. Mark's only donated £28, so that means that I don't have to eat the chilies. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. So I'm going to carry on cooking my onion. So if you guys are cooking along with me, give me a shout. Let me know how you're doing with your, um, with your onions because obviously we need those to cook through. I'm getting messages left, right and centre. Uh. Oh! <laughs> Does that mean I have to eat a chilli? I think I've just had a really big donation come through and now I have to eat a chilli. Uh, I'm a bit scared now, is that right? You are on track, brilliant, you're on track. So if you've got, you haven't got powdered mace, that's fine. Um, if you've just got, if you've got the hard, um, they're called leaves, aren't they? You can just add that in um, as, a, as a whole spice. So I would put that in now, really, so that it just forms your, your base spice. Um, if you've got a spice grinder, you could grind it, but it probably won't come to a nice fine grind. Uh, fine grind. Um, so do I need to eat a chilli? My husband's laughing at me in the corner. Oh, Mark, you are very, very kind. But, oh, I don't like eating chilies. she says. I do like eating chilies. Okay. So, <laughs> right. Have we had another one? Ah, oh, Mark, it wasn't you. Okay, I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to pick it to you. Mark, this one's for you because you're mean. I'm not going to, look, I've got Scotch bonnets in here, but I'm not, I'm not going to eat those. Ah, oh, look, it's only a little one. Do I have to eat it in a wanna? Do I have to eat the whole thing? Are, we, are there rules around this? Oh. Okay, this is for you, Mark. This is for you. <laughs> Prosecco and chilli, what do you reckon? Nice little combo. Okay. Oh, it's quite hot. It's all right, it's all right, it's not too bad. Getting hotter. Sit, comes in waves. <gasps> when I start sweating, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see me perspiring. I'm getting, it's a slow builder. I might need some milk in a minute. I don't even, oh, okay, see now I can't talk. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, so I'm all right. I'm okay. That was a green, small one. I can feel it burning on the side of my mouth, though. 
Hello Berry Berry Live, first time here, welcome. Lovely to have you join, it's really lovely to see so many new faces. Right, I'm not shouting, but I think the chili makes you talk louder. Thanks, Mark. You owe me a glass of pinotage. <laughs> okay, so whilst the onions are doing what they need to do, we're going to do the, the next bit. Now, tomatoes. So... The onions, you can, if you wanted to, you can keep cooking them until they get a little bit darker. They're never going to go really dark like we have done when we've done our lamb curries in the past. I'm dribbling. <laughs> ah. Okay. So we've got questions coming in. Ah, uh, Jeremy, there's a question there for you. Oh my God, my face is on fire. Jeremy. <laughs> Where's the best place to find someone who can cook Indian food? I tell you what, the best thing to do is learn to cook it yourself and then you will have them pounding on your door, James. That is, that's my suggestion. I'm not able to talk. <laughs> okay, so, onions are browning. I'll show you what it looks like in the pan in a minute. Um, we're gonna chop up some tomato. I'm gonna do it quite finely. So I would suggest four tomatoes. These are quite small. Now, you can do it in two ways. So if you are somebody who doesn't like tomatoes or can't eat tomatoes, there are a few of you out there I know, you can miss the tomatoes out completely. And that is actually what I'm going to do because I'm going to save this for a dinner party that I'm having tomorrow and somebody who's coming can't eat tomatoes so if you are going to use tomatoes all you do is chop them up nice and finely like that and then you put them into the remainder of your marinade so put the tomatoes in the marinade and mix all of that together okay I'll show you what my pan looks like now. Will you be able to zoom in to the pan? So this is what my onions look like. So they've got they've gone nice and golden, but then they're, they're not dark. Okay, so I haven't added the mace or the chili powder or the turmeric yet. All I'm doing is just browning the onions. I'm gonna have to go and blow my nose. The chili. <laughs> Chili's making my nose run. Oh. Right. Thanks, WaterAid. Thanks, Nick from WaterAid in particular, who suggested that that would be a really, really good idea. Oh. Um, so once your onions are nice and golden like that, we're going to add chili powder, we're going to add turmeric, and as I was saying before, if you want your food, if you want this dish a little bit more spicy, then um, you could also add a chopped chili. I know some of you have already done that because you're you're already there. So with the chili and the turmeric, and as I said, this is slightly different to what I'd normally do. So the turmeric and the chili powder and the mace here. So in terms of the mace. I'm just going to use half a teaspoon because it's quite strong and I'm adding it to some water. And the reason that I'm adding it to water is if I put the dried spices in like this straight into the pan, there is a tendency that they will catch on the bottom and they will burn. 
So by putting them into the water, it stops that from happening. When I'm back, it's gone. It's taken that long to die down, but it's gone. Oh, oh my God. So with a spoon, we just give all of that a mix. So I would say in here, I had roughly about 200 mils of water. Okay, look at that beautiful colour. So that is going to go in with my onions. I told you this was different from what I would normally do. So give that all a stir through. So if you're cooking with me, are we all on the same page? Oh, I'm glad you like the kitchen. It we it's taken a lot of work to get it to this level, but um, yeah, thank you. We um, I spend a lot of time in here, <laughs> so it's quite nice that it's nice. So once you put your liquid, your turmeric, your chili, your mace in, turn it up so that it's nice and hot, and then. With the remaining marinade, if you are using tomatoes, put your tomatoes into the marinade. I'm not using them today. And mix all of that up. So it's everyone clear what we're doing. So we have got In the pan, we've got our whole spices that we started off with, the bay leaves, the cassia, um, cloves, and what else was it? See, the chilli's gone to my head. Mm, no, Mace. No, he's shouting the wrong stuff out to me. Cloves, cloves, cardamom, bay leaf, cassia, that's it. Um, toasted those off in a little bit of oil, added the onion, got that cooking down, got it to a lovely golden brown colour, and then all we've done is add into there um, some, what have we added? We added some water, and in that water we put um, half a teaspoon of mace, um, a teaspoon of turmeric, and a teaspoon of chilli powder. Um, so... We're just giving that a lovely stir, and then I'm going to, once that starts to boil, and it gets really, really hot, um, I am then going to add the remainder of the marinade with the tomatoes that have been mixed up. So Tina, you, you've got your tomatoes and marinade ready. Brilliant. Once that's ready, once this is hot, we're going to pop that in. We're going to start to cook that, and we're going to put our chicken back in, and then we turn the turn it right down and we let all of that simmer away together. That's fine, if you've already added it, that's fine, Debbie. I um, think that's absolutely fine. Um, so, what it's looking like at the moment is, if we get another 100 pounds, I am gonna be donate. well, not donating, I am going to be giving some curry kits out. So those of you who don't know what a curry kit is, the, the, we've got a whole, array of different curry kits. We've got 12 different versions from Goan, Boona, Rogan Josh. We will be giving away, I will be giving away six curry kits. Pardon? Oh, we're, all we need is another two pounds. I've got to eat another chilli. What? Um. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> so where are we? I can't see. Oh, okay, so we're nearly at 500 pounds, amazing. So if we get an, another few quid, then I'm gonna be giving these away. We're gonna put all the names into everyone who's donated, names go into a hat, and we're gonna pull out um, a name, and you are gonna get six curry kits, so you're very lucky, but I've just read. Paul has donated at 100 pounds. So we're now at £498, but that also means that I need to eat a chilli. You are kidding me. 
I've, I've literally just got over it. I've just, just got over it. Okay. Just because it's you, Paul. Oh, I'm really scared. <laughs> so I'm going to pop in my marinade. For those of you who have done this bit already, your tomatoes and the remainder of your marinade goes in. We're going to give that a little bit of a stir and then we're going to pop our chicken in. So how is everyone's dish looking, those of you who have, um, who are cooking along? How's it looking? Okay, I'll show you what mine looks like. Okay, and I'm just going to put, I'm going to put in that chicken now. Don't worry, Paul, I'm just psyching myself up. I think that chilli that I had was the mildest one that I've got, and now, and now I have to ruin my taste buds. I might start. If I start crying live on air, you know who's to blame. Nick. It's Nick, isn't it? And maybe Paul. And maybe Mark. Okay, so my chicken has gone in. Now just coat it all with that lovely masala that's in there. And the other thing that we need to do is just season it because we haven't added any salt yet. It's really important to season because that brings out other flavours. So I'm just going to put some rock salt in. So those of you who are cooking with me, how are we doing guys? Oh, this looks really good now. Smells amazing. Oh, lovely, 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 lovely. Right. So I'm all I'm going to do is bring that up to a nice hot temperature, and then I'm going to put the lid on, and we're just going to just pop that to one side and let that just simmer away. The other thing you can do is put it into a hot oven. Um, who is saying scotch bonnet? Are you kidding me? Do you want me to have a cardiac arrest live on air? Um, I'm scared. <laughs> um, once that's come up to temperature, I'm going to put the lid on and we're going to let that simmer away. And as I said, you can, if you want to, I know some people prefer to cook in the oven, just put your oven on to 180 and the whole thing can go in the oven and it can just simmer away for a good... I would say 40 minutes to an hour if you're using meat on the bone. If you are cooking lamb, again, about an hour. Um, if you're cooking meat off the bone, then you probably only need to let it cook for about 30 minutes um, or so. It won't take much more than that. But if I show you what it looks like, it looks really super, super vibrant. Yum. Look at that. Right. So... We're going to let that come up to temperature whilst that's doing that. I'm not even going to close my eyes. I'm just going to pick one out now. Oh! I... What, did I just have a green chilli? I had a green chilli, didn't I? I have a scotch bonnet and I will eat it instead of you. Go on then, Colin. I want photographic evidence of you eating a scotch bonnet. Have you had a bit of wine tonight as well? Let's see? Okay. I'm not eating a scotch bonnet because that's just that's just stupid, isn't it? But then then no no My husband's trying to tell me to just have a slice of a scotch bonnet. I tell you what, I oh, okay, I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna pick one. Or do you wanna pick one? Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna have a red one this time. I'll eat it. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing, that's a bit excessive, right? You don't want me to eat the whole thing. If I start from that end, if I just have one bite. Okay, I'll go for a bite. Thank you, Paul. 
Mm, so, so appreciative. Colin, you don't drink, but you're still going to eat a scotch bonnet. Do it with me. I think a bite is acceptable. Shall I go for a bite from the middle? Just a bite. Oh, you guys are lovely. Okay. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll cut it. I'll bite that bit. I'll bite that bit then. Oh, that's quite nice. It's like a pepper. It's a little bit hotter than a pepper. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, it is quite hot. Mm. Oh, all right. My face gone red. I did to swear. Sorry. I didn't mean to swear. It's a... It's making my nose run. Have I gone red? So I should have had some milk rather than Prosecco. The bubbles are really not helping. Getting a sweat on. I can feel it. I'm not sweating, obviously. I'm perspiring. Oh, okay, right. So let's just have a look at that. That's looking really good. I can't speak. Apparently, chili is really good for you, right? Okay. So I'm going to pop that on the back hob and I'm going to let that simmer away. And do its thing right so who is who is cooking with me oh i've got some tomatoes here they're quite cooling aren't they who's cooking along is everybody at the same place have we all got our chicken on and huh. Nick, I have words. This is not a good idea. But we're very, very grateful of your donation. I, I tell you what, what would be really good is, do you want to watch that video again? I think it might be a really good opportunity to uh, take a little bit of a refresher. What do you reckon, Nick? Yeah, chicken should be simmering, lid on, um, gentle heat, let it simmer away for a few minutes. children, the amazing girls in Nepal and WaterAid are doing some fantastic work as they always do um, in bringing fresh clean water to schools, um, bringing toilet blocks and building toilet blocks, repairing toilet blocks so that they have the opportunity to go to school and edu you know, get an education rather than having to go and traipse around finding clean water. Um, and you know the, the terrain in Nepal isn't easy. It's a it's a 
really, really hard country to live in. Um, so all of the money that you guys have donated, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, I do need some milk. You are absolutely right. Um, all of the um, money that you guys are donating is going to help those amazing kids in Nepal um, with the help of Water Aid. So where are we with our Gherkin chicken curry? It should be, if you are cooking along, it should be simmering away and smelling absolutely amazing. Colin, you had a bite of your scotch bonnet and I'm now dying. I could have told you that. That's why I was so scared. And I didn't even have a scotch bonnet. You nutter. I hope you've taken a picture. Please take a picture and you can share it with me on my app because um, because I think that would just be really funny. <laughs> someone else sharing the pain with me. Um, okay, so the chicken is doing what it needs to do. I'm gonna show you how to make a very quick dal dish at the same time. Um, so one of the dishes was dal bark, which is probably the national dish of Nepal. Um, dal just means lentils and bark means rice. So um, again, a very simple way to make um, a dal dish. All I've got here is some lentils, some red lentils that I've washed. That is the chili. Um, I have got some garlic. I have got some ginger. And this is, again, it's very different from the kind of dal that I would normally make. So my dal is slightly different, but I'm just going to move this over so that you can see. Okay, so we're going to use some ghee. If you've got ghee, then um, please, please use that because it just makes it really nice and rich. If you haven't, you can just use a little bit of oil, that's fine. What we are going to do, where's my onion? Um, oh, it's here. Right, so I'm going to use an onion. I'm only using a little onion. And in fact, I'm not sure I'm going to use, I'm going to use half an onion. And I'm going to dice it nice and finely. Chop that up. And we're going to pop that into the pan in a moment, once that ghee has heated up. Um, as we go through the session, if you've got any questions, please ask um, um, ask away. Um, oh, oh, we passed our 500, yay! How exciting! So we've passed our 500, how much have we got? We've got 503 pounds. Thank you everybody who's donated, you guys are amazing. Are you, so who's just, Amarok, thank you so much for donating. So what we will do, is everyone who has donated so far, we will put your names into a hat and we will pull out a person. I don't know if we can do that. I'm just looking at um, Nick, if we can do that now or we'll do that later. But we will obviously um, send those, we'll send you six curry kits just for taking part and just for um, helping us raise over 500 pounds. It's amazing. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, Mark, um, Nick, you can let me know how we're going to do it. Don't know. Okay, so into the pan, I'm going to add my chopped up onion. And I am going to chop up some garlic. I'll probably use two cloves of garlic. And again, if you're cooking this, then you can spice it up a little bit more if, the, if you want to, or if you're like me and you don't need to spice anything up anymore because your face is on fire, then uh, then you don't need to do that. So I'm gonna slice up, um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to blow my nose again. The chili is, Chili is chili hot. 
So I've got some garlic here. I'm going to put two cloves of garlic in because I like it. And the other thing that I will just tell you is I've got some rice here that I have um, already washed and I'm going to get that going as well. So for those of you who are cooking along and hoping to eat this for your dinner, then you can pop your rice on as well. So just get your rice heating up so that it's going to be ready when your chicken is ready. So with my dal, all I am looking to do is just get my onions nice and translucent. Don't want too much colour on them. Again, this is um, one of those dishes that is made much more simply in Nepal than it is. Um, so I've cooked my lentil dish with you before. And the way that I would normally cook it is I would cook my lentils in a pan and then I would cook the masala and I'd bring the two together. This version is probably much more um, simple and it's much quicker to do. So there's always different options and different ways of doing it. So we've just had another donation. Thank you, Denise. Amazing. You've just donated £29, so I don't have to eat another chilli. <laughs> Love you. Thank you. You are amazing. I have literally just got over the last one, so I don't want to... Uh, although... Although, I think I'm pretty hard for now. I think I'm all right. So into the um, onion, as it's starting to get a little bit of colour, I'm going to pop in my sliced garlic. And also some ginger as well. And what you can do is just grate your ginger in. And hopefully by the time these bits are done, your chicken should pretty much be on the verge of being cooked through. Oh. I'm just going to move this over. So we've got a full on meal going on. And... As I said, if you are in on a Friday night and you're thinking, hmm, curry's too difficult to cook, it really isn't. It's super easy. There's lots of, um, if you go to, over to my website, there's loads of recipes, loads of um, videos, all of that kind of stuff. So I'm always here to help um, if you want to have any advice about stuff that you want to cook. It's so much better to cook it yourself. So that money that you would have spent on a takeaway tonight, you can donate that to um, this lovely um, fundraising that we're doing today for Water Aid to raise money for the Thirst for Knowledge campaign. So go on, stick your hand in your pocket. Okay. Okay, so everyone, so I'm just getting a bit of clarity in the background. So everyone who has donated, we have your details already. Um, we will put you into a hat and the winner will be picked after, um, after we close up today and we will drop you an email and let you know and then um, obviously get your address and we'll send you some curry kits. So um, that's how it's going to work. Okay, so my onions, ginger, garlic are in here. And what I'm going to do um, in terms of spicing, we're keeping it really, really simple. We're just going to put some chilli powder, some turmeric and some um, coriander. So I've got some coriander seeds in here that I'm just going to grate straight in. Not grate, crush straight in. There we go. So in my normal dal, I don't tend to do 
I don't tend to put coriander in, but this is a slightly different flavour. So into there, I'm going to put some turmeric. I'm going to put a little bit of chilli powder. And then I'm going to add my lentils in. So the lentils are just split red lentils that I have washed. And we're going to just mix that. Just coat them with the onions, the spices, and everything that you put in there. And then we just add our water into there. So with lentils, it's normally three times the amount of water to lentil. You bring out to a boil, let that simmer, and that will just cook away. There we go. So we've got our chicken going. We've got our dal cooking away. I'm also going to add a little bit of salt. I haven't done that yet. So a little bit of salt goes in the dal as well. Is it supposed to become saucy? The chicken, are you talking about the chicken or the dal? I'm assuming you're talking about the chicken. Um, yes, it should be fairly saucy. And then what happens is you can then reduce it once it's cooked, take the lid off and, and reduce it down if you want it thicker, but it will be saucy. Okay, I'm just gonna have a look at my chicken. Oh, it's looking good, it smells really good. Lovely, lovely, vibrant colours as well, and I'll show you in a second what mine is looking like. So that's what mine looks like, but it smells really, really aromatic. And you see it's just starting to cook down. Thank you, Al, for your donation. You are super, super kind. Mm, so thankful, so, so very thankful. It's amazing to have so many of you donating. I'm so chuffed. And I'm very, very, very humbled um, that you've, one, taken the time out of your Friday night to join me um, and watch me blow up. Uh, <laughs> and two, that you've, Put your, you know, you're taking time to to um to donate your hard-earned cash for such a an amazing um such an amazing reason to help these girls in Nepal. Um, and you know the work that War Trade do is is just incredible. So thank you. I'm very very humbled um by all your kindness. So thank you very much. Right. <laughs> So, for those of you who are cooking along, um, can you let me know where you are? Is your chicken on? Is it bubbling away? Have you got your rice on? Are you cooking dal? There's so many questions, so many things to do. We are probably, in the next few minutes, we're going to be signing off because I don't want to keep you for the whole of your Friday evening because we are almost there. Um, so, uh, what have we got? Indian food always brings people together. You are absolutely right. <laughs> I will put some amazing, um, hopefully, well, do you know what? I haven't taken any pictures because I should have taken some pictures of me eating chili. That would have been quite funny as my face got redder and redder and redder. Right, my rice is almost done. I'm going to turn it down and let that do its thing. Burn myself. Okay, does anybody have any questions or anything they want me to go over whilst we're at a slightly quieter time where everything is simmering away and doing what it needs to do? Any questions, guys? Use that. Oh, thank you. It's always... It's absolutely fine. If you can't donate, it doesn't matter. Just give us a follow on all of my socials um, and Water Aid as well. Follow them on social as well because there's always so many fun activities that they're doing. Um, and when you 
look into some of the work that happens, it's so humbling. It's so unbelievably simple, some of the stuff that they need to do, as well as being really quite complicated with other other, other areas. But just, it's, I just think it's, you know, I, I think the work that they do is, is incredible. Um, and it's just a basic human need, clean water, just to be able to drink um, safely. Um, so please do have a look, give them a follow on social media, give me a follow on social media as well. Um, and it just makes you feel good, doesn't it? So donate to build. So that yeah, so we're, they're they're building taps, they're building bathrooms, they're building new wash cubicles um, at schools. They're getting running water into schools, which is so important because that means that kids can actually go to school and get an education because they have the facilities there to be able to to wash and and you know. It, it's just it's some basic sort of human needs that they're they're fulfilling. So please do, if you can, donate what you can. Right. So as we finish up, I'm going to have a little clear down. I'm going to start to get my plates and bits and pieces ready so that I can plate up and finish off my Friday night. And we're going to do it in a number of different dishes today because we'll keep it all separate so that you can see everything that's going on. So normally when I would cook a lentil dal, I would always finish it off with um, some garam masala. But again, that's very much a Punjabi style ingredient. So this is much more simple in its flavour. Um, and then some coriander. So I've got some fresh coriander here. I'm just going to get chopping board. And we'll get our coriander ready. Which one now? Yeah, okay. So just to finish off the dishes, both of them, a bit of coriander, fresh coriander is always just so vibrant. Adds colour, adds flavour, adds a delicious freshness. And I always use stalks and all. Um, so I'm going to finish up the dish. If your chicken isn't quite ready, and I'm assuming it probably needs a little bit longer, just let it simmer away. Let it do what it needs to do. Um, and don't panic and stop cooking because you think that I finished. Let your food tell you what it needs. Um, how much more cooking it needs. It probably needs a little bit longer if you are cooking meat, especially if you're cooking meat on the bone. Say again? Denise, you are a legend. So you should, Denise has cooked Bugatti and all kinds of amazing things. You are a legend. I'm hoping to get pictures later in the app. I want to see what you're doing. Okay, so my dal is pretty much done. My rice is pretty much done. Pardon? <laughs> Debbie, send us a picture of your kitchen. I'm excited to see it. Um, and I'm going to put in some rice and I will show you. Picture. Okay, so the lentils. Now, with lentils and dal, you cook it to whatever suits you. So, quite a lot of the time, people like it much thicker. So if you like it thicker, just keep reducing it down until you've got that lovely thick um, lentil that's broken down. And that's that's typically how they would eat it in Nepal, much thicker than than, than I would normally make it, um, because I tend to have mine much more soupy. So um, cook it to whatever suits your palate. My rice is ready, and I'm going to show you what my chicken looks like. So I'm going to pop that onto a plate. Well, I'm going to put it into a great big bowl, actually. Oh, it smells really, really amazing. That nutmeg has a really distinct aromatic about it. Um, 
and I think it's really quite special. So I hope you like the flavours. It'd be interesting to hear your comments because I know you will tell me what you think because that's how we roll. I wish you could smell it. It would be really quite nice if you could um, just get those aromatics coming through. It is really, really amazing. So my doll is done. I'm going to put my coriander into my doll and just stir that through. Yum. Let's see. Friday night curry club still rocks. That's my car. My bot is here. And I've just gone for a very simple plain steamed rice because that is what you would have with something so aromatic as this and in the form as well you tend to go for a nice simple rice they tend to rice is the staple in the ball that like you would have that with everything so just to finish that off i'm just going to put a little bit of coriander on my chicken do you add the rice to the top? No, so the rice is always kept separate so that everyone can help themselves and um, take little bits of each of those elements and serve themselves. So there you go. Um, I don't know if you can see. I'm just going to come down here. So here we go. Here is our chicken curry. It's really, really aromatic. And as I said, I've cooked it on the bone um, and it's just cooking, you know, it, it, if yours hasn't quite reached there, let it just simmer away, let it cook because you'll get all of those lovely flavours coming through. This is a very simple, super quick, you saw how long it took, what, 10 minutes if that, um, dal dish. And then we've got some very simple boiled plain rice. So... That is our amazing Gurkha chicken, dal bart, and the bart is there, so the rice. Um, all done. What? How long did it take? Just over an hour and a half. And we've been chatting. And you've made me eat two chilies. So um, I think we've done pretty well. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you um, to everybody for joining in, for having a natter, for donating, for um, all your kind, kind words. Um, our final total is how much? £570. We've done that in an hour. I'm so, so grateful. Um, thank you for all of your donations. Thank you for joining in. Um, and thank you for helping us raise some money for Water Aid. I know Water Aid will be truly, truly grateful. Um, if you want to find out more, um, all the links will be added. You've got all the information. Um, Nick is obviously always happy to answer any questions. Um, give us a follow. Give them a follow. Um, and you can find out lots more information, not just about this, but all the other activity that they're doing. Um, so thank you for your time. Thank you for sharing your Friday evening with me. Thank you for donating. And if you want to don continue to donate, that page will still be there. So you can donate further. Um, and obviously, you can go straight to World Trade and donate there as well. I hope you've had fun. I know I've had fun. It's always, it's always a pleasure to cook with you. Thank you so much. And I will hopefully be back soon. Take it easy, guys.